Fun fact about the Steamroller, it's one of the hardest hitting pistols in the entire game, and you've probably never even thought of it. The Steamroller actually impressed me one time when I was looking at stats one day, as, you know, all people who are fun at parties do, and I noticed that it actually compared extremely well to the Spyglass. Now, I don't actually remember what these exact figures are, and this was from Storm Shield 1 before their site kind of imploded and they took it down, so I don't have any exact figures, not even that they're extremely relevant, just the fact that this thing hits really, really hard, as you can see. So, in the gameplay, we rolled this crit damage, reload damage, and crit rating. And crit builds are extremely common for these weapons because of the base 15% crit chance along with a 75% base crit damage, which means it's not only hitting often, but harder than most weapons. So crit builds are kind of a good way to go for these weapons because it's going to be doing pretty decent damage regularly, about 130,000 in my experience with the party that we had. But uh, whenever it crit, it was up over 600,000, which was really, really powerful and more than enough to take down most of the mist monsters in the higher zones that we were playing in. Unfortunately, that is all of the good news that I have for this weapon, because without the uh, bullet splinters into shrapnel 6 perk, where it deals 40% extra damage in a cone behind the target, you're not really going to be doing too much damage against the crowds of zombies that may form when you're in an encampment, or if you're in a group fight, which is quite common in Fortnite Save the World. So if you're going to be using the steamroller, definitely use an explosive weapon like the cannonade, which is also from the set, or a faster firing weapon in general that can better deal with large crowds of enemies. Now in this gameplay, I am using Affliction, and I'm not going to get too much into it, but as a recording it, it is bugged so it is doing way more damage than normal which I think is needed but it's also taking forever so I don't know if that's going to stay but uh, it is worth noting that that is something that might help with better crowd clearing however you're not firing nearly fast enough to deal with plenty of enemies so I think what this weapon definitely is is a hard hitting pistol that is certainly to be used for the mist monsters the mini bosses the smashers that you may encounter and uh, maybe the fatties and not too much else so that's basically if you're going to be running a crit build you can go fire rate reload double damage damage to do less overall DPS, less damage towards the big guys, but it'll give you a better chance at hitting more enemies more often. And because this weapon is hitting so hard anyway, you might actually be just fine going without the crit damage. And of course, you can see that we were using Calamity in this gameplay, and that's because this weapon without a mag size perk has a base six shots in its magazine. And that's convenient because Calamity, if you only have six shots, is actually the best pistol hero in the entire game because 60% damage buff is better than 50% last time I checked. And that 50% damage buff uh, levels out to be almost identical to the uh, the beetle just bonus of 225% extra crit damage. I'm not going to get into all that math, but they are effectively identical DPS, and the margin of error is actually superseded by the uh, extra damage that you get from Calamity. And I think that definitely helps in making this weapon even stronger. Now, I didn't mention this, although it's kind of obvious that I, I didn't even know this for the longest time, but it actually shoots kind of a cannonball whenever the steamroller shoots. I, I don't think they wanted to give this weapon any explosive damage, but I feel like since you're shooting a clear projectile that seems to sort of explode on impact, I don't think it would make this weapon too overpowered to make it do a little bit of extra explosion damage when you're hitting a single target so that it's not just hitting one target at a time. Because so often when I was shooting into the crowd, I'm thinking, why aren't these little cannonballs like hurting the other enemies? It doesn't have to do a ton of damage, but I think it would make this weapon significantly more usable um, and, and a lot more fun in general. Because without that extra area of effect damage, I don't really see this weapon as a primary. So only if you really want to use this in a support situation, I, I don't really see how else you'd use the steamroller, but uh, maybe you guys disagree. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Link to all of my steampunk weapons in the description below. I will be uploading these videos, you know, one at a time, maybe two per day for a little while, so I will fill up that description as more and more released. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day. <laughs> and then